Hello, my name is Marcelo Ciro, I am a sound designer and a re-recording mixer, and I will give you some quick tips using Waves plugins. Today we're gonna talk about how to work with Dolby Atmos in a very fast way. I will show you a session that I did a time ago that was the first Dolby Atmos series in Latin America that I did for Netflix. This series is Super Drags. I use it to do the session thinking about how to set up Atmos for loudness. First, let's listen only the effects with Atmos Render and I will show you the objects moving in the space. But for YouTube, I need to do a binaural down mix. So let's listen. <laughs> You can see that I have a lot of automation in my effects. So every effect goes to a aux, and in these aux, I use it to use this compressor, a multi mono compressor. So it's a very hard way to do this. Waves introduced me this spheric that just saved me a lot of time. With this, you can do a multiple compressors in only one. It's a lot easier than do a multimono compressors. With multimono, I need to unlink everything and compress in different ways each channel. With spherics, I can compress everything together. And if I need something different in some channel, I can manipulate it. Let me show you my master chain and how complex it was and how easy it will become with spherics. I use it to use multiple stereo compressors. So with that, I can manipulate if I need more left and right, left and right surround, center or LFE, LSS, RSS, and the top. But I can change these to only one plugin, the Spherix, and bypass at least six plugins that I use it to use. That's all for today. I like to show you only how to save a lot of time using spherics. <laughs> I hope you enjoy.